Hello and good afternoon. Destin from Camping World in beautiful Center Conway, New Hampshire. I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the 2021 Salem Cruise Light 230BH. This is their uh, one of their 21 models. Nice 23 foot bunkhouse. Uh, big bunks in the back with a nice little slide out. So let's start on the outside and work our way in. Starting off at the front, we have a power tongue jack. Spot for two 20 pound propane tanks. Behind that is our battery box right by there. Little battery disconnect to the outside. And as you can see, the coach does have a nice rock guard on it. So when you're going down those dirt roads, you're not gonna scratch the thing up. Solar charge prep right there. So you can plug in a solar panel, trickle charge your battery. Big pass through on this one. Uh, you can access it from the inside of the coach from that door there or underneath the, the, the bed area, but it is accessible from both sides. Underneath that, we have our stabilizers that do have a JT strong arm equipped on them, both on the front and the rear. What that does is it'll just stop the rocking of the coach once you have those stabs down. There's the outdoor awning. As you can see, outdoor speakers as well. Nice LED strip on the bottom of the awning there so you can see what you're doing outside. Your fresh water connection, as well as your fresh water drain underneath that. Nice little uh, outlet there in case you need to plug something into your uh, uh, outdoor table there. Moving on back, we got our low point drains. We have our spare tire and our steel bumper. You can throw your uh, sewer hose in that. Backup camera prepped. So it does not have a backup camera on it right now, but it is prepped for it whenever you're ready to throw one on there. Your cable and satellite hookups, your city water connection, and then a black tank flush, which is nice to see. Just helps clean out your black tank so you don't have to dump a bag of ice down there like you used to. Moving on back here, we got our sewer dumps. Nice little storage area on top of that, as you can see. And we have our slide out. So as you can see on the slide, it's not a cable driven slide like we're used to. This is the Schwintech slide system. So it's a rack and pinion based slide. So it just moves out a little bit easier, easier to manage. Let's squeeze on through here. And as you can see, there's the other side of the pass through. Uh, lots of storage still. Let's go inside this coach and see what it's got to offer here. As we move in, solid steps as you come in. So a lot more stable than the fold up steps. Nice and easy. I like the floor plan of this coach because of the, uh, the Murphy bed. So with the Murphy bed up, lots of floor space in here. Plenty of space. Uh, of course, to drop this down, which all you got to do is get your little uh, armrests out of the way. It's a jackknife couch, so you just drop it down. There's a latch right here. Latch on the other end. There's your bed. So it's nice. You still have a full-size bed that's walk around that you can get out of the way when you're not using it. Makes it a little bit more uh, versatile. So let's get this locked back up here. Check out our wardrobes on both sides. You do also have... Uh, Access to the inside of the wardrobe has a little electric outlet in it in case you need a CPAP machine or want to charge your cell phone or something. USB chargers on both ends, as well as a emergency exit that you can crack to get some airflow here. U-shaped dinette, which will fold down into a bed if you so choose. Good storage underneath on both sides. And slide out really does open it up in here. Big panoramic windows throughout that slide out as well. A little spot for a TV mount right here. A little bit of storage up on top for DVDs or something like that. There is your radio, which controls your indoor and outdoor speakers, and I believe it is Bluetooth compatible too. AC up top, as you can see, it is ducted through the camper. Most campers this size, it's just gonna be a main dump, so that's nice to have. Moving on into the kitchen here. Nice two bay sink, residential faucet. Good storage up top here for plates, cups, something of the sort. We have a three burner cooktop with the uh, cover. Uh, full size oven underneath, about as full size as you can get in a camper. I wouldn't be cooking a turkey dinner. Microwave up top on that. And we have our range hood with a light and a fan. Now this is the Everchill 13.7 cubic foot fridge here. This is an electric fridge, but it's almost twice as big as the uh, the typical RV fridge. So plenty of storage space in there for your food. And let's keep moving back here. We have our bunks over each other right here, USB chargers and a light on the top. And on the bottom, another USB charger and a light. So both the kids got, can uh, charge their stuff when they're ready. 
This is also really nice. So a small 23 foot floor plan. Look at the size of this pantry. It is huge. Tons and tons of storage space in here. Last but not least, let's move on into the restroom. So as you can see, nice little restroom back here. You got your commode, you got your sink. Have a nice little medicine cabinet here, toothbrushes, toothpaste, something of the sort. A little bit of storage underneath here for linens or toiletries or something like that. And just to give you a point of reference, here is our shower. I'm about six foot tall, just so you can get a point of reference here. And I got maybe two inches or so to my head uh, from the roof. So if you're six foot tall, you can stand up straight in the shower, no issues. I think that about concludes our tour of the Salem 230BH. If I missed anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. Again, my name is Destin. My phone number is 207-595-6450. Thanks, enjoy your day.